Hello and welcome back to the Berg Step Reviews channel. Today, Silver Dollar Scotch Snuff. And before we go any further, let's get a look at the can. Presentation. So I'm going to remove the price sticker once again uh, so that we can take a better look. Uh, silver dollar logo in the center, scotch snuff on the top. Um, kind of an orange leaning darker color. Doesn't really look like that on camera. On the back, um, yeah, it looks a little bit different again. This time there is silverdollarsnuff.com running across the top. Scotch nasal snuff, silver dollar, item number, barcode, five grams, one fifth of an ounce, made in the United Kingdom, imported by Cretec International, Moorpark, California, and the warning label. Uh, again, it looks like we have got some snuff uh, in the plastic wrap. Yeah, as you can see, running along the side there, it, it seems to have spilled out just a little bit. All right, so it's a coin-style packaging. Uh, you will twist that around until you find the hole, and then you will see within. So I'm going to carefully try and do this, not like last time. Um, and we're still making a mess here. All right, well, uh, I'll, Christ, I'll go back for more if need be. Uh, twisting my hand that way isn't going to work too well. So anyway, it is falling out of place here a little bit. So we'll, let, let's give it a go. <coughs> okay, um, yeah. hit me a little more than I expected it to. Um, there's a little left here on my desk, which I'll just... <laughs> so it is very reminiscent of... Well, I, I should... I keep referencing this. I'm guessing this is going to smell the same. I have never actually had Railroad Mills plain. Um, but, you know, American Scotches run about the same, whether it's Square or Ralph's or whatever. Um, they have the, the whole basic similar thing going on. Um, it, it has got the charcoal thing going on that I referenced before. Um, it it didn't visually look to be that fine, but it went up with ease. So I'm thinking there's a chance this is actually a little bit on the drier side. Um, it had quite an effect on the left eye for whatever. I suppose that most of it went up the left there. Uh, it, yeah. It seemed pretty, pretty strong, uh, pretty strong nicotine-wise and flavor-wise. Really, it um, producing a drip, which I find unpleasant. Um, but I understand that's just part of the game, really. So it was four twenty-nine uh, in store. You could probably get it cheaper online. Uh, I was just shopping around and surprisingly saw these, so I thought, why not? Uh, as I said before, finding it is going to be a challenge. Uh, you're, it's not something readily available, it, and in most cases you're better off just ordering in what you want. Um, keep in mind that it will be shipped from Britain, so you may want to make it worth your while. Uh, it's, it, it's very reminiscent of an American Scotch. It's probably still easier to take than an American Scotch. 
but they they hit the flavor pretty much dead on I would say um, would I prefer it I would actually prefer I would actually so far out of these naturals I would probably prefer this one um, it's just that I have had experience with this flavor enough to know that I don't necessarily care for it um, but for those of you that do like them you know you can get something that is in a manageable container five grams one-fifth of an ounce instead of 1.15 ounces uh, that said this is you know running a dollar and a half more or so so eh, you know but it is definitely something that if you're experienced with them um, you will have no issue trying it or anything it, it the flavor the scent is relatively similar um, that's about all I can think of really for this one it you know taking it was a little rough more than I expected um, the drip is a bit annoying but overall it is you know very similar to the American variety so uh, shout outs will be Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, Whittington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee 83, No Bluff Buff, Snooze Freak, and Smokeless Ryan 4K. Rating out of 10 on Silver Dollar Scotch, I'd probably give this maybe a 6. It, it, it's, it's not a flavor I go out of my way for well I kind of do because I want to review all this stuff but you get what I'm saying it, it, it's something I could take or leave and with all of what I've got sitting around yeah um, uh, it's something that's gonna sit for a long time probably so you know it's alright if that's what you're into they did an alright job on it but it's not really what I look for so uh, that's about it for this one. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Take care.